Well, welcome back to the Iwi Den. This is lesson number six for the novice player, and today we are going to add two scales to our to our list, bringing our total number of scales up to seven. Our goal is to learn all 12 major scales, get them in our mind and in under our fingers. At that point, we'll put them on the metronome and start to speed them up. Uh, today, we're gonna do the A major scale and the E flat major scale, and they share a common note or pitch. Uh, however, in each scale, it has a different name. So in the A scale, we'll have a G sharp. And then in the E flat scale, we will have an A flat. They're the same sound, but they're called two different things. And the easiest explanation for this, for one sound having two names, is it's simply to keep our scales in alphabetical order. Our minds like to go around familiar patterns. Like it's very easy to count by twos and fives and tens. If somebody asks you to count by 17s, you can do it, but it's not quite as easy. So the alphabet being in order, will give our mind an uh, easy pattern to go around that we're familiar with. If we, have a, if we have a scale that's missing a letter or has two of some letter and it's the same sound as all the other scales, it's just awkward and cumbersome. So having enharmonic tones keeps our scales in alphabetical order. So from now on, as you're doing your scales, when you're thinking, when you're playing a sharp scale, you should be thinking all sharps and when you're thinking when you're playing a flat scale you should be thinking all flats so let's do the a scale first it has a c sharp an f sharp and a g sharp and the new note to us is the g sharp so what we're going to use is on our left hand the first two circles one and two and the second circle on our right hand and that's going to be our G sharp, and we'll be coming there from an F sharp. So that is a very comfortable fingering. So I'm gonna say the A scale up and down. So it's A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. G sharp, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A. We're gonna play that one. So now let's take a look at the E flat scale. The E flat scale will have an A flat in it. It'll have the same sound as G sharp, but we're going to use a different fingering for it. We're gonna use one and two in our left hand and one in our right hand, and that's going to be A flat. So I'm gonna talk you through the E flat scale because we're gonna use an alternate C as well. So here's the fourth E flat. So it's E flat, F, G, a flat, which is our new fingering, going comfortably to one and one B flat. And then we can play an alternate C, which is just the first key of our right hand. That's a C going to D and then to E flat. D, C, B flat, A flat, G, F, E flat. We're gonna say it one more time. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat, D, C, B flat, A flat, G, F, E flat. And playing it and saying it while we play it. Say it in your mind. And that brings our total up to seven scales, which is great. We only have five more to go. Okay, for our improvisation assignment, uh, just scroll down in the Iwi Den in the novice area until you get to the, the play along tracks and pick any one of the previous missions and apply it to the key of A and then to the key of E flat. Okay, well, if this is helpful to you, you know, hit like, and if you want to catch the next video, subscribe, and YouTube will take care of that for you. Have a great day. See you soon.